All right, y'all. I got some spooky paint left over. In case you didn't see the other video, I've got some leftover paint from a spooky pour I did. Uh, purple, orange, green, green, yellow, and black. Um, these four colors ha either have glow in the dark mixed in or are glow in the dark already. The green and the orange were already glow in the dark paints. The purple and the yellow I added glow in the dark um, paint to. And then the black is its normal self. So the plan here is I'm going to do a different technique. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called at the moment, but what you do, I'm going to call it the open cup dirty pour. As a dirty pour in acrylic paint pouring is when you put all of the different colors you're using into one cup, hence making them dirty as opposed to a clean pour where you pour each individual color onto the canvas one at a time from its individual cup. So I have this cup um, I cut the bottom off of so that I can set it like this and pour paint in and let it run out. Um, that's what I'm going to do in this video, I think. I'm trying to decide if I have enough paint. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. First thing I'm going to do is pour some black paint down just to kind of give me a base to work with and to help spread the paint a little. All right, so we got that going on. I'm just gonna spread it around with this. Okay. Cool. Now we're gonna start with the colors. Why am I'm never in the center of my canvas? What's wrong with me? Is that center? No. We'll go with that. That's close enough to center. Just to be on the safe side, I will pour a little more black paint over here. Okay. Now that I'm fairly certain I'm in the center, let's start. So what's happening here is because I used the black paint on the canvas before I put down the cup, the other colors are traveling underneath the black paint. And so oh, you can kind of see here, I don't think it's coming up on camera, but it's doing its thing and I could bump it a little. Ooh, this one's gonna be spooky. see those colors coming out right there. This is a lot of fun. This method is a lot of fun when you're trying to do like celestial body looking things. Um, I try to do some galaxy themed um, paintings in the past and I used this method and this is kind of what happened. So it's fun. And the cup likes to travel. I don't know if you can see how much it's shifting just sitting there. Mm. 
I'm just kind of lifting the cup a little bit. Not so much to take it out of the black paint, but just enough to lift it so that those colors come, un come out from underneath. Come out underneath? Come out underneath. That's the words I was looking for. Oh. We running low on battery. All right, let me kind of run that through there a little bit kind of make that do something oh crap where am i gonna put that i gotta tilt quick because my battery's low paint pour number two. Was it a success? Um, I think so. I think it's pretty cool. I really like some of the, uh, the ghosting. I don't know if that's the technical term, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, over here you can see it, it looks like a color on a color. It's weird. It's hard to explain, but it kind of looks like a double exposure in this area right here. Um, I like it. Again, I wish I had ended with black, but I was out of black at the time and I didn't feel like mixing up anymore. Um, and I had plenty of paint, honestly. It could have been a little thinner. I think that would have helped the tilting. This is pretty cool. I'm digging it. Um, as usual, as usual, I'm gonna let it dry and then come back and show you the, uh, the dried and finished product. I'm, I'm pretty pleased right now. Pretty pleased indeed. I wish, uh, yeah, like here, this little line here, that's what I'm talking about when I mean like double exposure. Like you can see the orange underneath the purple and it's brighter and then you've got the black underneath here. It's just, uh, it's interesting. It's really fascinating to see. I can't wait to see it dry and I can't wait to hit it with a black light and show you what it looks like when it glows. So, as usual, stay tuned. We'll be back with the dried product. All right, there's our spooky painting all dry. It's really, it's really very interesting. I mean, you can still see, I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but some of the ghosting effects that come up here very appropriate in a spooky painting. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool, I think. I think it's really neat. Um, a lot more color in this one than the other one. This is a little less, I don't wanna say it's less ethereal because it still is pretty ethereal, but I'm still wishing I had ended on black so that maybe there was more black here and it looked more wispy but it kind of I mean compared to the other one it, it just makes me think of like light shining through a fog machine again which I feel is very appropriate to Halloween um, I really dig it though Very, very cool. And, you know, since glow in the dark paint is mixed in with the colors, it's gonna glow. All right, are y'all ready? We're in a dark, dark room. In a dark, dark house. Just kidding. Here it goes. Oh, wow. What? 
so cool. So very cool. Creepy cool. <laughs> This is awesome. Now it makes me think of like a glow in the dark, not glow in the dark, a bioluminescence in like deep sea um, creatures. Like this, let's see, this part here, it looks like an eye and the mouth of a, like an eel, like a bioluminescent eel turning and swimming. Oh, I love it. Not quite the spoopy vibe I was going for, but it's really freaking cool. So cool. Wow. I'm really digging this. Like half a witch face. It looks like the eel is trying to eat half of a witch's face. Cool. Don't mind me, I'm just nerding out over here. Oh, drifting. So cool. I wonder what it looks like when I turn the light off. You ready? Oh, that was cool. It almost looked like two eels. All right. I think that's enough geeking out for me. You can always pause it and look at it. <laughs> Anywho. As usual, I sincerely appreciate watching. It makes my little heart happy to know that someone is enjoying the videos I make. So again, I appreciate you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>